Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Living Heaven on Earth. I'm your host, Cornelia, and I'm here today to talk to you about going from not good enough, feeling not good enough, to enough. This is, seems to be a big, big um, topic that's in the collective right now, and a lot of people are experiencing feeling not good enough, feeling not worthy, feeling not worthy of deserving their best life. And uh, it's not true because what's on the other side of not good enough is enough. And what's on the other side of that is I am worthy. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share some stories with you. This is a, an emotional core wound that I too have overcome. And I can tell you that once you release this energy and let this go, you will not be vibrating, feeling, acting, making choices based on that core wound anymore. And that's what this is about. It's happening right now so that you can release that old energy out of your physical body where the energy was suppressed. Because for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, we've been living everything that we're not. And now we're here and um, birthing a new paradigm with all the change that's happening, living heaven on earth and experiencing everything that we are. Experiencing everything that we are is huge. It's so huge. We have to make room in our physical bodies for this amazing hugeness to come in so that you can play that out and really uh, live your heaven, live your paradise on earth, your co-creation. If you didn't watch the show that I did last week with Martin Root, uh, his uh, website is called uh, Project Heaven on Earth. It was an amazing show. Go to my website at CorneliaStephanie.com, look under radio, and it's there in the archives. We did it live on Facebook and YouTube. And just before we close this segment, I'm going to ask you to three questions that Martin asked us to ask ourselves because our evolution right now is calling us to live heaven on earth and we wouldn't be able to do that from a place of not good enough from a place of unworthiness because that just doesn't fit it's just not in our integrity so it's just been um, such an incredible week for so many people in, in a lot of the session works that I did this week. I want to share some of those stories as we go. I want to talk about and clear the emotional core wound of not good enough. We'll talk about that. And I want to talk about anger. Anger is a big one. And the anger and the emotional core wound of not good enough, they're tied together. So... We're going to talk about that, how to release the anger. And every person that's listening here uh, or that's going to look at the YouTube later on, the anger management PDF is going to be available for you to download and have at your disposal free, uh, free of charge. So it's, it's yours because I really want you to be able to get in contact with your anger because a lot of people feel like anger is bad. And so we're going we're gonna to talk about that. Before I go into 
um, anything further, I, I want to talk about the energies that are upcoming. So we're wrapping up the month of June and uh, we're going into July, which is huge. And so, wow, what does all of that mean? We're, we're being really asked right now to release and let go and surrender of everything that's no longer in harmony with our true heart's desire, right? Because we're embodying our souls. That's what we're doing. We're taking our physical bodies into a higher vibrational way of living and being. We're embodying our souls. We're listening to our soul's call. We're moving into alignment and integrity with who we are. And that's how we're co-creating and building our new world. And it's certainly not done based on the energies of not good enough or victimhood or shame or um, abandonment or betrayal. These are all emotional core wounds. And if you have those playing out in your life right now, it's up for you to um, release this uh, karmic debris out of your physical body by making, um, making new choices. And it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing, even though it may be painful. It, it depends on what it is and where you're at. I want you to call into the show today. Talk to me. Call in at 1-800-930-2819. And if you have something that's on your heart that you want to share with me, or if you have an emotional core wound, or if you've got a challenge in your life right now that you would like to have another point of view, feel free to call me. This is for you. I'm doing this show for you to assist you to move into a higher vibrational way of living and being because it's really cool to live there. So call in at 1-800-930-2819. You can also call in and share with me what you're inspired about, what you're excited about, because that is... Uh, a great thing when we're sharing our vibration, when we're sharing our enthusiasm, when we're sharing our excitement, we're, you know, contributing and making the world a better place. It's really all about that every single day to raise our vibration high, to think and um, purify our, our thought process and not think the negative thoughts and um, be at peace and come from your own center. One of the things that I do is I help people move into their true empowerment and be the authority in their own life so that you don't give your power away to an outside source. And this is really, really, really important. Why? Because we, as victims from our past, and also victim being a core emotional wound, victim um, savior, is, is the core wound. Um, part of that, we've given our power away to our government, to the doctor, to our relationships, to our work environment, to our husband, to our children, to our friends. And the reason why it's so important that you become your own authority is so that nobody ever, 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 ever has any power over you but you. You and your source, you and God, you and the source, the creator source, as one. Because the uh, uh, an emotional core wound also is feeling separated from source, feeling separated from God. And that also is a lie. Because the truth is that we've never been separated because we've always been one. We've always been at one. So part of my work is helping people move into their uh, inner core so that they can be the authority in their life and never give their power away to an outside source. You will be consulting your own inner counsel, your own inner counsel, your own inner knowing, your own inner soul. You will be doing that and that is enough. That is enough. You don't need to get anybody's approval. You don't need to get anybody's permission. You don't need to get anybody's um, validation. Because what you have to say 
is absolutely enough. Your voice, your authority. It's just that you haven't been operating there. You haven't been trusting in you. And so it's really, really important that you move into that self-acceptance. And that right there is going to be a strength that you're going to be able to bring to all of your relationships. Because when you are the authority of your life, everyone is in service to you. So then you will be going to your doctor and you will be um, doing your research and you will be telling your doctor, no, I don't want to do it like this. I want to do it this way. And you'll be telling your lawyer, no, I don't want to do it like this. I want to do it this way. Because you're always going to be coming from that empowered place. And that's that's the whole piece right now, this whole collective awakening. It's that we all move into our empowerment, into our spiritual power, into our relationship power, into our financial power, into... um, co-creatorship of heaven on earth and each and every one of us has the tools that we need so we're getting ready to go to break and i want to read to you the three questions that martin asked us last week when i interviewed him on the show this is what he said tell me a time when you experienced heaven on earth Tell me a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was happening for you? What's heaven on earth for you? What's heaven on earth for you? And the third question What simple three easy steps can you take within the next 24 hours to make heaven on earth real for you? And the reason why these questions are so important is because, again, they move you into your authority. They're asking you to consult your own inner knowing, to consult your own inner counsel, and that is enough. What you have to say matters. Who you are matters. Your contribution is so important to this planet. This is what's necessary for you to be able to take your own inner knowing and share it with us. Call me at 1-800-930-2819. You're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Hi. My name is Janet Hickox, and I want to tell you a little story about a story and how my friend Cornelia Stephanie helped me through to the other end of that story. I have gone from the dark of a story I was telling myself that wasn't true to the light of optimism to see my way out of where I was and to where I want to go. And it all started with uh, her scheduling a session for me to help me reclaim my money or my financial empowerment. Up until that point, I had been telling the story that my business was dying, that my business was not successful anymore. And the more I tried to figure out what was going on, the worse I felt about it. And when I had to get ready to do the session with Cornelia, she asked me to go look at the numbers and where I was uh, through the year to date, and then also to come prepared with a number that I wanted to uh, raise my income to. Well, I was quite comfortable with that part, right? I knew where I wanted to be. Uh, What I wasn't comfortable with doing is going and looking up those numbers, but I made myself do it, even though I tried to backpedal my way out of the session. Um, She didn't know that, but I was going to try to get myself out of the session and I looked up those numbers and it was incredible that I discovered through that process that my business wasn't dying. In fact, I was doing 12% better than I had the year before. So I was shocked. 
I was shocked literally at the power of the story that I had been telling for months. But more than that, I was shocked that I had allowed myself to get there. And uh, later in that day when I had my session with Cornelia, she pointed out some very obvious things like, how are you going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go? How are you going to get there if you don't have the goals written out, if you don't have it uh, set up so that you know where you are and where you're going to go? Totally makes sense, right? If I, and I had been in business, uh, somebody else's business as a sales manager for years, and I, I was a national sales manager. <laughs> I had awards for sales management. I had business awards because of numbers. And yet when it came to doing my own business, I totally forgot all that I'd ever learned. So by the time Cornelia working with me in just one session, got me to look deeper at the numbers and where did I want to go and actually, you know, claiming where I wanted to go. Um, I was filled with a sense of optimism and hope like you can't believe. It was like everything shifted for me. And I am so looking forward to our continued sessions to see how far I can really push myself to get where, I, where I've only dreamed of being, where I've never taken the dream and actually brought it into concrete existence. So thank you, Cornelia, for the work that you're doing out there. I appreciate it, and I can't wait to see where I go from here. So here we are, we're talking about um, the core wound of, of not good enough. And um, let's, let's really take a look at what that is. So not good enough are feelings that you're releasing out of your physical body because right now there's an event in your life where, where you're being triggered. You're being triggered by something that's, that's happening, whether that is through a relationship or whether that is uh, with a job or a, a partnership where someone is triggering this for you and you're feeling not good enough to take action. And a lot of times that can have people going back down into the, the spiral, going back down into the rabbit hole because they're feeling not good enough and it paralyzes them to, to take action to take action. It paralyzes them. And so what is the feeling of not good enough really about? When you, when you look up the I am worthy, what's the opposite of I am worthy is not worthy. And what is not worthy about? Not worthy is about not deserving respect, not having any value, not deserving respect and not having any value. And so here you are feeling like you don't deserve any respect and you don't have any value when that's completely a lie. It's not true because everybody deserves respect that is conscious and that is awake and that is aware with, with where you are, that you are deserving, you deserve to have a good life and that you are worthy. If a little baby is born and the baby is six months old and that little baby has never earned a degree, has never written a book, has never um, graduated from high school, doesn't have any honors, hasn't achieved anything in life, that baby has value. That baby deserves respect. That baby deserves to be honored. And that baby is good enough. And you are exactly the same. It's just that right now, People are triggered and they're releasing the core wound feelings of not feeling good enough. That's really what it's about. The key is to realize that this is what's happening, to emotionally process this, these emotions and release the energy and let it go and claim your worth, claim your value. I was coaching somebody the other day and she was talking about um, how she can't seem to move forward simply because she doesn't feel good enough. 
So this is a really a big piece for people right now where it just stops them in their tracks and it makes them feel like they're not good enough when they really are because you deserve respect, but you have to give it to yourself. So it's just that one action step that you take towards, towards your value, towards your worth. I've developed all kinds of tools uh, that are available for emotional processing. They're on my website. Go to CorneliaStephanie.com. And on the bottom, there is a, a little box that says new, Cornelia, new to Cornelia's work, emotional processing technique, anger management technique. There is um, all this uh, uh, information available for you. So feel free to go have a look there and see what the emotional core wounding is all about. You can also get my book because I wrote this book, uh, Peace, the Flip Side to Anger, how I use my emotions to heal my life and my body and how you can too. And guess what? The emotional core wounding, everything about emotional processing is in this book. Everything is in this book about how to process your emotions, how to release it. Because really that's what it's about so that you can become emotionally wealthy. I am worthy that you can act and live from that place. And so it looks like we have a caller. Carter, would you like to bring our caller on? Absolutely. We have Brian from Arizona. Brian, you're on the air. Good afternoon, Cornelia. Good afternoon, Brian. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Well, I guess I just want to tell you and, and, and your other listeners how paying attention to your inner voice is better than paying attention to the loud voice that happens in your mind. Yes. I've experienced so much joy and prosperity by listening to my heart feelings rather than the fear that my ego tends to produce. Very true. I was able to, to do better uh, with my coworkers by being transparent about any upset that I might have been feeling without blaming them for making me feel that way. That's so huge, Brian. Thank you. Uh, that's that's so, so huge. Person, it's so it's so huge when you when you um, when you look at what's happening and you're not blaming another person for how for how you may be feeling, realizing that. What's happening is, is an opportunity for you to release some old energy out of your physical body and you're not listening to that ego mind like you said and that you're listening to your heart and then you're able to stand and offer uh, compassion and not non-judgment, right? And you're, you're building a bridge to yes. in your relationships. Yes, I was able to apologize to my partner because I know I said something that was upsetting to her. And I apologize without making an excuse or using a but or saying because. I just apologize because I know what I said hurt her feelings. And I think that helped us move forward without any resentment. Again, Brian, that's like, that's so huge. This is such a beautiful uh, a way for the relationship, the new relationship to move forward where before we were um, uh, projecting anger and uh, um, passive aggressive behavior onto each other, attacking each other. And it sounds like what you're doing, yeah. you're, you're in your divine masculine, Brian, and you're as acting from your pure heart and without, without needing to be right, without needing to be right That's and it. knowing, right? It, you're, you're so right. That's why I listen to your show because you always give the real truth about our being. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I love, I love what you're doing, Brian, and I love how, um, how you're showing up for your partner, how you're showing up for your colleagues at work, and how you are articulating and expressing the new man, the new man. You know, because yeah. uh, that that really is what it's about: the the masculine, the new man, supporting the feminine in a way that is supporting and not attacking. Yes. And I don't have to feel any less than by giving my partner all of me. Because there's always enough and more to, to give. I never, my, my, my love and my affection and my feelings, they're not, they're not limited. Yeah, exactly. That's so huge. That's so huge. They're not limited. And you know, you're, you're, what you're also, what you're bringing up was in another segment that I wanted to cover um, later, but we're going to do it now, is that, um, is that being able to hold space for each other in relationship, you holding space for your partner so that she can release her anger so that she can release her rage without you feeling attacked and really being able to hold space for her and witness her yeah. and uh, hold her and have compassion for her. And, and, and she's, I know, is able to do that for you because women have been doing that for, uh, for yeah. a long time. It's just that we also need it back from our partners. I'm just getting the chills all over yeah. my body right now saying that and so that's so true right so brian can you hold on the mm -hmm. line we we want to we want to take a break and uh and and be right back will you stay with us yes okay wonderful everybody we're going to take a break this is the cornelia stephanie show Call in at 1-800-930-2819 and we're letting go of all those feelings of not good enough and we're claiming our I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her one-on-one uh, -on -one for many years now and even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth after working with her for many years I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach uh, coaching program and it has absolutely been an amazing process I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to 
approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach. Go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Hi everybody, welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and we're talking about going from not good enough to enough. And we have with us on the phone, Brian, he's a caller from Arizona, and we were talking uh, before we went to break. And Brian, thank you so much for calling in, because you know, all our life long, we, um, we've been in relationship proving, continuously proving, uh, always achieving to try to prove that we're good enough. Like, if I do this, will I be enough? If I apply for this job, when I get this, if I do that, will I be enough? Will you approve of me? Will you accept me? Will that be enough? Will I be worthy then? Will I be doing this? And it's been a constant cycle of a habitual behavior, really, of trying to prove that we're enough when the, the truth and the actuality is that right here, right now, without ever doing anything ever again, you already are enough and you already are worthy because you are a being that absolutely has value and that absolutely deserves respect. So it's, it's your job to first act on that, knowing that you respect yourself and that you respect others that you step into that value and that you make choices based on that value. When I was, when I was going through this um, emotional clearing myself, and when I developed the core woundings and, 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 and discovered how many there are and what it is that we're clearing and releasing as a humanity, I found that I has, had a thought that was attached to an emotion, that was attached to a belief, that I wasn't worthy. Yeah, yeah. And I used to go and I used to make choices based on that lie every single day. Yes. I used to have this running dialogue that my father didn't love me enough. So I didn't love me enough. And that dialogue ran my life for many years. And I read something in Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly uh, Successful People. And that passage, I, I won't try to quote it now, but it changed the way that I told myself that story. And I changed it to my father did the very best he could with what he had, with what he had. So I can do the very best I have with what I've got every day. And I just remember that. And I apply that to everything. And I added, if I could just do kindness without a but or an and, to just be kindness, to embody it, everything in my life would probably be nicer if I could just hang on to that. And for many years now, I have. And having your, having been introduced to you, I think we can both say that we've gained a perspective on being good enough. And I'm so glad you're doing this show to help uh, as many people that are willing to tune in. Oh, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for calling. And that you called and said you shared this with our audience as well. I really appreciate that. I, I appreciate your inspiration and I appreciate the work you're doing, the work that you're doing with your partner and with your coworkers and what you're doing out there being, being the amazing man that you are. I appreciate it so much. Well, okay. I won't keep you any longer, but thanks for taking my call. Thank you so much for calling in. Be well. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was lovely. 
That was lovely. It's it's amazing what happens when um, when we realize how that we already have all the tools inside. And so one of the things that I wanted to talk about next is I wanted to talk about anger. And so anger, a lot of people, I, you know, I wrote my book, uh, Peace, the Flip Side to Anger, which everybody should get. Everybody should have every healer, every uh, school system, every doctor's office, every, uh, um, holistic healer, every counselor should have this book because it has so many tools in here. It has fear processing exercises. It has emotional, um, emotional processing. It's got stories that I, that I told in there about how, um, how I discovered the emotional core wounding and how, how that was all healed. And, um, it's just got, it's got really good, uh, practical tools that you can use to process your emotions because if you if your emotions aren't processed you're always going to be coming from a place of of reaction and so anger is a big one just this week I was working with a client who didn't want to get in touch with her anger because she thought that it's bad if she gets in contact with her anger that she's going to create um, future karma by uh, using the law of attraction and that she doesn't want to get angry. So what she was doing instead is she was holding on to the anger in her physical body, holding on to the anger in her physical body. And that is so harmful. It's so harmful to hold anger in the physical body because it, it has um, the same way that when, when people use anger and they, they, um, they use verbal anger and they're um, passively, aggressively projecting verbal abuse onto someone, you know, that's hurtful. Or if somebody um, wants to take their fist and they want to start a fight to release their anger out of their body because they're acting on their emotion, that's hurtful. And if you're storing the anger in your body, that's hurtful. It's hurtful to your organs. Let me see if I can um, look at, um, I have a section in the book where I talk about anger suppressed. Anger suppressed in the body is very toxic. Uh, let's take a look at the emotional suppression of anger in the body. And a few common illnesses and diseases that, that could be the result of that. Alcoholism, feelings of worthlessness and self-rejection. So if we're angry, we're going to continuously keep drinking because we're feeling worthless and we're feeling rejected. Allergies, feeling aggravated by someone or something. Arthritis, repressed anger that eats you up. Colon, bottled up hate. Depression, anger turned inward. This is the worst one. Depression, anger turned inward because what it does, anger turned inward goes into your root chakra and it goes all the way uh, to your root. And, and in your root chakra now you're depressed. And from that place of depression, you feel paralyzed to take action because all you want to do now is be depressed and be on the couch. And part of, um, that's why this is so bad because it, it keeps you non-active. It, it doesn't engage your physical body in using that fuel for what it's meant for because anger really isn't bad. It's just that we, it's a raw human emotion. It's a raw human emotion. What we want to do when we're depressed is we want to get really, really pissed off and we want to bring our anger that's from the root up into our power center, into our third chakra and bring that anger up and, and really take a look at what is it that we're angry about? What is it that we're angry about? Because usually what happens underneath when we find out what it is that we're really angry, angry about there is a truth that's underneath there that's waiting to be claimed. There is a truth that's underneath there that's waiting to be realized. And most of the time, 
people feel angry because they feel powerless that they are not communicating what they need to communicate and they don't know how. So either they're going to harm someone with throwing or shooting or killing or fighting or verbally abusing, or they're going to use the anger against themselves. Both is, is bad. And that's the reason why I wrote my book is to help people process their emotions, process this anger and use it for creative fuel. Because once you know what to do with that anger, it's awesome. It's liberating. It's fire. It's fire. It's fire. And it, 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 it's something in you that wants to be released and let go because underneath that there is your truth. So Everybody gets anger management um, technique. It's going to be loaded on the YouTube channel. You're going to be able to get that, or you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com, and I'll be happy to send it to you. Also, you can look at any of the free emotional processing techniques that I have on my website at corneliastephanie.com. And uh, really get in touch with your anger, because a lot of people say, oh, I'm fine. I don't have anger. And because they have some kind of idea that they think that anger is bad. Anger is only bad when we suppress it in our body or when we use it to harm another. That's, that's when anger can become destructive. But when we use anger to liberate ourselves, to find out what it is that's really underneath that anger, you're going to discover amazing, amazing juice. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Thanks for listening and tuning in. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show, and we're talking about how amazingly worthy we all are. And that, that if, if you can just remember right now that you're releasing feelings of not good enough through the experience that you're having, and that you're done with playing that story, with, you're done with living that lie, and that from now on, the first step that you can take is towards your own self-respect, towards your own self-value, and vow to yourself that you will never allow yourself or another person to disrespect you again, um, because really that's what it's about. It's about you being worthy and having value, honor, and respect. And whatever you're doing inside of your physical body for yourself, you're doing for the whole because that's what we're all doing here on this planet. We are all respecting each other, valuing each other, honoring each other, living heaven on earth. That's, that's the truth. Whatever is happening on the other end, this is the old world that's dying away, that we're, we're completely releasing and letting go of. And that is not where we want to play anymore. So take, a, take your consciousness, take your energy away from there and bring it over here where you um, are honored, where you're valued, where you're respected, where you're worthy, where you're good enough, just as you are. And you wouldn't even never have to do another thing to achieve another thing. The most important thing that you do is not to go look for one more thing to prove that you're good enough because you already are. Do the inner work. Do the inner work, the inner work that's calling for your love, for your value, for your honor. Right now, I'm offering, I have several programs for people. Um, if you want, it depends on where you're at in your, in your journey, in your empowerment journey. I have a one-month uh, program. You can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com. And I also have a three-month program where I teach people how to process the emotions and how to navigate uh, the energies and really claim empowerment in all areas of their life, spiritual, financial, relationship, health, whatever the challenges are. So the number one thing that you do is get in contact with your inner peace, your emotions, and know how amazingly valuable you are and how deserving you are and how powerful and how capable you are. 
So I want to close this uh, show up today with a story of uh, how I released my own um, inner anger. When I was in the um, when I was in the process, it was 2014, no, 2013, when I was writing this book, 2013, 2014, I was writing the book, uh, and I'm writing about peace. And I had um, rented a room out to a man in my house, and I was already, uh, I had another tenant living in my house. And my house was a very peaceful sanctuary because I, I'm a peace activist. I, I, this, you know, this is part of my mission is to bring peace on earth, to, to live heaven on earth, to be, be the peace activist, to bring peace into the environment. Because I just, I, I just never have been able to handle the violence that has gone on. And it's been in my life from the time I was a little girl uh, where I, I was um, exposed to extreme violence. And um, so when I rented a, a, a room out to this man in my house, he, he was in there for a week. And after a week of being there, he had passed all the background checks and everything. And after a week of him being there, uh, both my roommate and I were feeling really, really uncomfortable. And she was saying, I'm just not comfortable with him here. I just feel really weird. And so I had to go ask him that uh, it's just not going to work out, that, that he has to move out, that he has to move. And so he's six foot something, you know, I'm five foot one. And so I walk up to him and I go, Hey, I'm not going to say his name. Hey, um, I just want you to know that, um, it's really not going to work out. You're, you're going to have to move out. You're, you're really going to have to move out because it's just not going to work out with all of us here. And he looked at me, he looked at me and he, he looked down at me and he said to me, you can't make me move. You can't make me move. When he said that to me, every single inner bullet in my body was going off and my body started shaking. Because suddenly I felt, I have this man in my house that is violent and that said that I can't make him that he has the power over me and that I'm smaller than him. I'm a woman and whatever else the story would be, that he has the power and I don't. And I knew at the time that there was magic and alchemy in this, even though this was a very, very, very scary situation. So during that dialogue, I looked at him and I said, we're going to see about that. And I turned around and I excused myself from him. And I went into my, my own, um, own part of the house where I literally uh, dropped to my knees and was just like enraged because I felt so powerless. And that's when I got in contact with my anger. And I just got that anger out and got it out. I feel powerless. I feel victimized. I feel this guy is in my house robbing me and I don't, you know, I don't want this. And I released all of that energy. I released all of that rage out of my body. It took a while. And once I got it out, I sat down and then I said, now, what do you want, Cornelia? Now, what do you want? And I sat there and I said, I want him to move out. I want him to move. And so now I released the powerlessness. I released the victimhood. And then I went to him and I said, you know what? You are going to have to move and you're going to have to move now. And when I talked to him that way, when I came from a place of empowerment and I came from a place of strength and courage and respect and confidence he looked at me and he goes well 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 okay but you're gonna have to give me all of my money back you're gonna have to and I said that's fine that's no problem but you're gonna have to move so it was we the the corner turned that's when I discovered that we all are releasing anger rage energy out of our physical bodies 
We're releasing and letting go of the energy that doesn't serve us any longer so we can claim our power. And it's only the person that is activating and triggering that energy in you is bringing it up to you for healing and for resolution. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to contact me at radio at corneliastephanie.com if you want to work with me directly. I have openings right now for one month sessions and I also have three month program that um, we can have a, a phone call and discuss what would best suit you. Radio at corneliastephanie.com and go to my website at corneliastephanie.com and get all my free tools that I have available for you. Get my book on Amazon. And so those are all the action steps. And in the meantime, make choices that reflect your value. Make choices that you reflect your worth and know how amazingly worthy and gifted and powerful and awesome and juicy and loving that you really are. It's been my pleasure to be with you today. Thanks so much for listening and tuning in. We'll see you next time. Namaste.